Ooh. Hey. So, have you uh, ever seen these tiny <laughs> little red dot bugs that usually are on like the side of rock walls and such? I never think, what the F are those? What are they doing? Why are they there? Because uh, <laughs> I know what I sure have. It's actually crazy right now, too, because at my job, there's a wall, and there's a ridiculous amount of these things all over. It's jam-packed. I mean, you can't brush up against that wall, otherwise you're going to end up with either A, some on you, or B, crushing them, and yeah. But I've always seen them, and sometimes they get in the house, and they're, like, on my uh, end table, and I'm like, what is this little thing? It's just a tiny dot running around, and <laughs> I never know what it is. So... What I figured I'd do, this is basically it zoomed in. So that's what they really look like. They're kind of creepy when they're bigger. Imagine that was full size, like looking like this, not a tiny dot. <laughs> but anyways, um, so I figured I'd make a video kind of explaining it. Then I'd learn something in the process as well. So, quick little thing here, just, you know, given the background, I guess, of a scientific name. So these things are actually called clover mites. Uh, scientific name is Bryobia pretiosa. Rank species. <laughs> okay. Order Trombidiforms. Higher classification Bryobia. Phylum Anthropoda. Subclass Akari. A lot, a lot going on there. So anyhow, ah, what are these little red bugs? First of all, you're right. These little dots are actually bugs, not insects. Clover mites have more in common with scorpions, spiders, and ticks than they do with the insect pests, like ants and flies. Those tiny bright red bugs are actually part of the arachnid family, but they are harmless to humans and animals as far as health is concerned. They do not bite, and they do not transmit disease or illness as some other household pets, such as, oh, pests, I was gonna say pets, such as cockroaches and rodents do. <laughs> And they do not cause structural damage like termites or carpenter ants, but they do cause problems when they invade porches or homes by the thousands. Here are a few things you may not know about clover mites. These cute, I don't know where cute's coming from, little bugs suck the sap from plants, which is weird because they're always living on walls. They feed on all kinds of plants, but they prefer grass, and this can mean trouble for your lawn. When crushed, these mites can leave red stains on walls, drapes, floors, and anywhere else they are crushed. They love the sun and will gather on the sunny side of a structure. Females lay bright red eggs in dry, protected cracks and crevices. When they hatch, they are virtually identical to their mothers. Wait, what? So that means all these mites are kind of like twins with their mom? <laughs> that means every single one looks like the very first one, then. Very first woman mite, at least. Huh. It's weird. Clover mite eggs do not require fertilization by males. Incidentally, United States clover mites populations are 100% female. Okay. <laughs> That's weird. And that means every single one, like I said, does look exactly like the very first clover mite ever. So that is wicked weird. So you have 10,000 of them all looking exactly the same, and they look like something that died hundreds of thousands of years ago. <laughs> If you create an 18 inch grass free zone around your foundation, this can help clover mites from invading your home. If a clover mite does get into your home, it will die of dehydration within a few days, but don't crush them. Vacuuming them or wiping them up with a damp cloth will minimize staining. Die of dehydration within a few days. I mean, they are tiny, but they cluster on like rock walls in the sun. Aren't they dehydrated just by doing that? Where did <laughs> Where are they getting moisture from? If you have discovered these tiny red creatures and have tried to get rid of them, you have probably realized that they are particularly hard to eradicate. Since they tend to invade homes in significant numbers, it is important to locate and seal all potential entry points around your home. However, this can be next to impossible since clover mites are so tiny. They can fit through even the most minuscule of openings. You can also try an over-the-counter pesticide, but they typically are not an adequate means to control clover mites since they are not necessarily customized or suited to treating the particular species you are dealing with. If you find yourself fighting against an army of these tiny red creatures, the best way to eradicate them is to call a professional pest control company. Here at American Pest, we have 90 years... Okay. <laughs> 
Uh, blah, 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 we stand by our blah, 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 so do you, no, we can't, blah, 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 guaranteed. I should have read this article first, I didn't realize it was an ad for the company. <laughs> yeah, they're putting Google reviews. Oops. Oh, what the heck, while we're here, let's see if we can find something else that I can talk about that's not an ad. Learn more about clover mites. Let's do this. Oh, great, it's another ad. Oh, well. Clover mites are true mites, and they are very closely related to ticks and spiders. They are very small and often known as tiny red bugs. I just call them dots. They are household pets, pests, why do we keep saying pets, that invade in very large numbers, especially in the fall and spring months. Clover mites feed on clover, grass, weed, <laughs> and other plants that are high all the time. What do they look like? Clover mites are red in color and are no larger than the size of a pinhead. Clover mites have distinctive long front legs in comparison to the size of their body. You can't really say distinctive though because you can't see them. They're tiny. You just see a little red dot moving around. <laughs> Let's read these quick facts over here. Clover mites are usually not insects as most assume, but arachnids and are more closely related to spiders than insects. I'd hope so if they're an arachnid. That's kind of a dead giveaway. Clover mites are plant pests and do not cause harm to people. They're too tiny. How would they cause harm? Clover bite, mites bite. Well, we just learned that. No. Clover mites dangerous. No, we just read that. They are no threat to humans or pets and do not cause major structural. Yeah, yeah, we already read that. What are the signs of a infestation? If you have a clover mite infestation, you will see an influx of tiny red bugs on the outside walls of your home, especially on the sides that get the most sun. You may also see clover mites crawling on the windows, window sills, and walls of your home. Why do I have a clover mite problem? Clover mites are sensitive to cool temperatures and are drawn to the outside of your home or building where the sun hits looking for warmth. As they are crawling up the side of your house, they will make their way inside through small cracks and crevices. How do I get rid of them? Clover mites can be very difficult to control and eliminate from your home because of their large numbers. The best way to handle a clover mite infestation within your home is to contact a professional pest control company. A year-round residential pest control service will control clover mites as well as many other pests in and around your home. Clover mite protection tips from this place. Caulk any cracks found around exterior windows and doors. Replace or repair any screens that are ripped or torn. Or just chiseled. Seal cracks and crevices around found. Wait, what? Seal cracks and crevices around found. Okay. In your home's foundation or signed in. Create a gravel or stone barrier between grass and your home's foundation. Trim back trees, bushes, and other landscaping away from your home. Ooh, millipedes, creepy. Ooh, ooh, uh, testimonials don't care about that. No, nope, okay. look at that guy. He's a cool employee. <laughs> no shirt with a tie. It's a good look. <laughs> well, even though I keep finding stupid companies, I'm not really I'm just trying to find generic information on these. Why do I keep finding these dumb companies? Um. Uh. Orkin. That's another one of those companies. Yeah, whatever. We get the general idea. So, yeah. Those little fellers right there are actually these big creepy fellers right here. And these big creepy fellers right here. But I guess they're just clover mites. And they just want to be somewhere warm. That's about it. <laughs> cool. So, uh, yeah. Until next time, you already know I said. See you.